For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to graph equations on our calculator. So let's start off with the first example. Here we have the equation y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. Now if we're going to put that into our calculator so we could graph it, we need to go up to the top here on the left where this y equals button is. Now when we go to that, there's a list of different y variables, y1, y2, y3. Well, each of those could be different equations, but since we're only putting one in right now, let's just go up to the top for y1 and put in the expression on the right side of our equal sign. So we have negative 1 half x plus 3. So now that we have our equation in, we could go to the far right button at the top of the calculator, which is graph. And as you could see, it proceeds to graph the equation on a coordinate plane. Now, just so you know, the standard window that the calculator will graph the equation in is where your x-axis goes from negative 10 to 10, and your y-axis goes from negative 10 to 10. Now what if we want to put in another equation? For example, y equals x squared minus 7. Well to do that we need to go back to the y equals and instead of putting it into y1 we could go down to y2 and put it in as a second equation. So now we put in x squared minus 7. And then once we've done that, we could go back to graph. Now as you can see, we have both of the equations on the same coordinate plane. Now what if we needed both equations, but we only wanted to look at one graph in particular at the moment? Well, we could actually specify which one we want to look at without erasing the other one. So to do that, we could go back to y equals and if you notice, with our y1 and y2, we have black boxes around the equal signs. Now that means that these equations are turned on, so they'll show up when we go to the graph. Now if we don't want one of them or all of them to show up, we just need to turn them off. So say we only want to look at y equals x squared minus 7. Well, in order to turn off the first equation, y1, we need to go over to its equal sign and then hit enter, which means that our first equation is turned off. So when we hit graph, we'll only see our second equation. Now let's take a look at one more example. So here we have the equation s equals t plus 1 quantity squared minus 3. Now you may notice that this isn't written in the typical form where you have y as your output and x as your input. Now in order to put this into the calculator though, you still need to use x for your input because the calculator will only recognize x as the input and then y as an output. So when we're putting it into the calculator, we need to type it in to look like this. So let's do that. So we have y equals parentheses x plus 1 squared minus 3 and then we'll graph it. Now if we were to try that with a different variable other than x, say for example the t like we have in our example, and then graph that, we get a completely wrong graph for that equation. So you have to be careful with whatever equation you're working with. If it's using a different variable as its input, you need to change it to x when you're putting it into the calculator. Because that's the only variable that the calculator will recognize. Now once you're done graphing your equations and you don't need them anymore, we could clear them out by going to y equals 
and then hitting clear on that particular equation. And now it's not there anymore. And then to get out of this window, we need to hit second mode. Because the blue wording above the mode button is quit. So whenever you hit second mode, you'll quit out of whatever you're doing. And that's how you graph equations on the calculator.